Hello and welcome to the YouTube channel of mprugs.com. My name is Mike. I'm the moderator in a series of videos that is all about handmade carpets from around the world. Welcome you to our channel. Hope you and your family are doing well. In today's episode, and this is actually part two of a video series that is all about silk carpets. And in this video, I'm going to answer another question that I get quite frequently from the viewers of our channel as well as our clients at mprugs.com and that is the differences in the silk and which one of the silk carpets is actually um, safe to walk on and is safe to use around the house and everything because the three most common most popular types of silk rugs have three very different types of purposes. Also, obviously from a price standpoint. And so what I thought about doing is um, give you some pointers. We have a Persian rug. There is in the far back, we have the blue one. We have a gold rug that's made in Iran. And we got a Persian rug here. We have India that is being represented by this handmade Kashmir rug. And then we have this older pure silk, silk um, heritage, this is Turkey. And these are the three types of most common types of silk rugs. Although Turkey, this is really, it's more of a collectible than anything else. The two, when it comes to the silk rugs, the two most common ones are the Indian, the Kashmir rugs and the Persian, the gom rugs. But I thought I'm gonna briefly introduce you to the three, give you a few pointers. Because this is something, again, I get a lot of questions about. In my previous part, I talked about the pure silk, Herakay rugs, and the difference between the old and the new ones. And in this uh, video, I'm gonna show, give you a few pointers and some tips on the differences, what to look for and what to expect. And again, this is all about handmade carpets. You're gonna find there's a lot of information and links below in the description. This is also something that I do in my spare time where I showcase the rugs. Unfortunately, I don't have a videographer, so I basically do this on my own. And so, but one of the things that I do is I also make myself available to you. So if this is something that you're interested in, or if you see a rug that you may own yourself and you're not too sure about, I've been getting almost daily emails from folks. Um, they look at the video below in the description. They see the type of pictures that I need. They email them to me, real simple. And I can, generally speaking, give them um, information about the rugs that they may own, or I will obviously refer them to others. But if you have quick questions, feel free to watch that video and email me. Also, um, if, it, if you enjoyed the channel, feel free to subscribe. We're going to be bringing lots more videos as time goes on. But again, as I mentioned to you, one of the questions that many of you have asked is, well, we're looking at buying a rug. We would like to have a silk rug, but what um, do you recommend? And this is something that I always tell folks, I'm like asking a car dealer, if you're asking a car salesman or a rug salesman, hey, what type of car or what type of rug do you recommend you know the price tag is going to go up but the thing is this um, i have learned over nearly 25 years of owning my online shop and everything and like i said growing up in the wholesale business and everything that if you give your clients straightforward advice and this is where i guess being born and raised in germany it definitely helps Stick to the point, give people the advice, the tips that they need. Then they're going to know what it is that they're getting into and they will probably appreciate the straightforwardness. So, and in this case right here, we have three 
typical. These are all handmade rugs. These are all classified as silk rugs. The difference that comes in, you're looking at a beautiful, this is an Indian Kashmir rug. This is something where, and these are all roughly three foot by five foot pieces that I chose right here, uh, at least the two larger ones. And then if this Indian one was also the same, which is basically one meter by one and a half meters, you're looking at rugs that um, could be, let's say $5,000 for the Persian one. This could be um, about a thousand, 1500 for the Indian. And well, you're looking at the Turkish Eric case, um, the, depending on the size, and more importantly, quality, you can easily spend 10, 000, north of $10,000. So these are more collectibles. But the thing is this, when people ask me, um, they're looking at buying a rug, the first thing I tell them is that I have a couple of questions for you. I don't want to know what type of room you're going to place the rugs in we're not going to talk about whether you're going to put furniture on them and all that tell me two things do you have small children in your home and do you have pets if the answer is for a lot of folks yes you own pets you have small children and i hope you allow them to move around the house freely then i would honestly tell you you're going to go with the lesser expensive pieces because the Persian gom rugs are much more expensive, but they are much more durable than the Indian Kashmir. But cleaning the pure silk gom rugs is a pain in the butt. And this is something that you have to get done professionally, not too expensive. Um, you can get a rug like this, you can get it cleaned every few years or so, and you're talking maybe $100, $150. Most of my clients, when they buy these pure silk, the Persian, the gom rugs, they don't even have them cleaned. They just hang them on walls or something or put them in a formal area. But the point is this, if you're looking at a traffic area, let's say you got kids, or even if you don't have kids, even if you don't have a pet, if you talk about an area where there's going to be a lot of traffic, you're going to go with something inexpensive, and that's my opinion, you are going to go with something inexpensive, like the cashmere, if you want to go with a silk rug. The cashmere rugs, this is cotton foundation, silk pile, the silk is, and this is another question that I oftentimes get, well, the Persian rugs, they're called pure silk, the same with the Turkish, the Herakli rugs. Well, how come the Kashmir's are so cheap? And I say, well, honest to God, this is silk, but it's like a treated bamboo silk. Now, I want you guys to know this. This is classified as silk. This is silk. The Persian silk, the Turkish silk, costs 10 to 20 times more than the Indian silk. Um, the government requires that we classify this as silk. I have given you my two cents on that. I'm not here to turn it into a political, geopolitical, whatever discussion. I'm just saying. Um, for some people, when they talk about the pure silk, what they oftentimes assume is we're talking about the pure silk Persian rugs, um, with the cocoons and everything. I mean, this is basically what silk is all about. But having said that, there is nothing wrong with the Kashmir rugs. But they are in two different categories. So... In my home, if I had to place traffic area, Kashmir would be the way to go. I'm also looking at a rug that's going to be like a fine piece of furniture, lifespan 10, 15 years maybe, and then chances are I'm going to toss it or donate it or something. You can get these washed or something. But the difference between the two types of rugs 
is that the Persian gold rug is more of an investment. This is almost like an investment, but this is something that you pass down to your kids. This is something that you would place in a formal area. And this is something that I always tell my clients. Both rugs are designed to have furniture on them. I have folks, especially in the Far East, um, Middle East, and also throughout the world, who have purchased silk gom rugs and have put them in their formal dining rooms, bedrooms, and that's fine. If you're going to put them in a place where there is not a lot of traffic, where it's like it's almost like you have a formal room, you have a, a beautiful furniture, it's a room where there's very little traffic, absolutely. And yes, you can put furniture on silk rugs. But when you talk about a room that you are going to be using on a regular basis, then you want to go with cashmere. If it's a more formal setting where infrequent usage, or if you have, for example, formal bed, master bedrooms, a lot of folks now have home offices where there's very little traffic. Pure silk gom rugs, definitely recommendable if that's what you want. Also, uh, in homes where, again, we have, for example, I have a lot of Asian clients, Middle Eastern clients. Uh, folks where culture dictates basically that you take your shoes off when you enter a home. So if you're going to be in a home, no pets, people walk around in their sock, with their socks basically, well then still, you're not going to get them dirty really. So those are the two most uh, frequent questions that I get about the silk rugs. Can you put them under furniture? Yes, you can. Can you put them in traffic areas? Yes, you can, and they'll be fine. But if you're asking me, I don't want you buying a rug and come back to me years later and say, Mike, you know what? I spent $5,000 on a rug and it's really, I feel like, I wish I had known that I wouldn't have bought it. I have not gotten these types of calls yet or emails. I always tell my clients, heavy traffic equals cashmere formal where you have the Persian, you have the Gomrugs. Now, there is also the Turkish Heriki rugs. We have a beautiful example right here. And the thing I want you to know about the Heriki rugs, even though um, the, some of them are large pieces, these are more or less become collectibles. Whereas folks buy the Persian Gomrugs and then they someday will pass them off to their children. This is almost like from the start, a collectible. A lot of my clients who buy these rugs, they are literally passionate collectors of the Turkish, the Herike rugs. And um, they found us through our channel they like the straightforwardness. And I have not yet had a client who has ever come back to me and complained about service or pricing or anything. But the main thing is because of the amount of fraud that's out there, I have put a ton of videos out there about the Herike rugs, but they are very different. There is um, a market for the Herike rugs. They are in terms of quality and everything, on par with the pure silk, the Persian, the gold rugs, but they are two different categories. This is something you can easily put on the floor and you can walk on, let's say master bathroom, formal bedroom, living room, home office, study. This is something that most of my clients will hang on walls. And this is the same goes with the cashmere rugs, actually the gold rugs. The Gomrucks, you have about a 50% chance of it being owned and hung on the wall. With the Turkish Herike rugs, you're almost at 90%. A lot of my clients, some of them, they even buy the smaller pieces and they literally, it's like a watch collection. They put them in drawers. These are a whole different breed. Yes, safe to walk on, but it's like wearing a vintage Rolex to go out hunting or gardening.
I don't think there's a whole lot of folks who would do that. And the same thing with the Turkish Herike rugs. So I wanted to showcase these three rugs. This is something I've been getting a lot of questions about, and I thought I'd just give you guys my own personal two cents on that. For everyday use, if there is traffic, again, as to recap, go with something inexpensive. The cashmere rugs will last you for many, many years, and they have that shine, they have the beauty, um, but they don't have the luxury. Let's put it this way. This is like a nice wool rug, except it has a silk pot. If you want luxury, you want the formal, you want something that's a wow factor, obviously Persian, the go rugs will definitely suit you well, but my personal opinion, don't put them in heavy traffic areas unless you are in a very, what I would say, clean environment. And then obviously we have the Turkish Herike rugs, but these are genuinely, especially the older pieces, these have become collectibles. So there you have it. I thought I'd introduce you to the three types of the most common silk rugs, answer some of the questions that I have been getting from our viewers. I hope this video is of help to you. There is a ton of other similar videos in our channel. It's all about handmade rugs. Again, if you like our channel or if you enjoy the videos, feel free to hit the subscribe button. We typically come out with one or two videos a month now. Um, also, there is a link below if you have questions as far as um, if you want me to look at a rug that you may own, there is a description below. Also, um, yeah, feel free to let me know if you have questions. Um, also at mprugs.com, there is a ton of other information. So with all that out of the way, I'm going to come back to you with many more videos to come. In the meantime, I wish you and your family the very best. Stay safe, and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.